the world's largest hybrid solar and wind generation plant in the world, it's astronomical. It's just been completed by Adani. This is the future, my friends, and it's very exciting to see. Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you from Bangkok in Thailand. If you're wondering why I'm here, what am I doing here? What's an Aussie doing in Thailand? Well, my wife's getting stage four cancer treatments. You can read about it in the description. I'll put a link there to our GoFundMe campaign. Thank you to everyone for donating. I really appreciate it. It's made a world of difference. It's made this actually possible. The troubled Adani. Adani's been in the news for all the wrong reasons. They've been doing bad things. Hindenburg, short seller, Report has exposed them for lying about their finances and many other things. I don't think anyone was all that shocked, really. It's Adani. But they do do some amazing stuff as well. They have just commissioned the world's largest solar wind hybrid project. And it's one of a number of solar and wind hybrid projects all located in the same area, which comprise enough power for millions of homes. India's largest renewable power company, Adani Green Energy has announced completion of its latest solar wind hybrid project, says Clean Technica. Adani Green Energy announced in a press release that it successfully commissioned a 700 watt solar wind hybrid project in the northern state of Rajasthan. The company claims it is the world's biggest hybrid power project. Now, what's a hybrid project? It just means a combination of wind and solar, not one or the other. The project is located in the Jaisalma district. And Adani has three solar wind hybrid projects in the area with a combined capacity of 1,440 megawatts. This latest project increases its solar wind hybrid project portfolio to an incredible 2,140 megawatts of power. That accounts for nearly 27% of the company's operational capacity. Adani are definitely growing their solar and wind. Why are they doing that? Well, the reason is because solar and wind are the cheapest way to increase power in India, where they desperately need more power and especially more clean power. Pollution is a massive problem in Indian cities. In fact, it's some of the worst in the world. People there are literally dying because of pollution. It is true. They die from many different illnesses that can be prevented if pollution was decreased. Obviously, decreasing pollutants like coal burning, uh, gasoline powered cars, the diesel powered cars, all these kinds of things will have a huge impact on quality of life in India. Adani secured this project through a competitive auction and they entered a power purchase agreement for 25 years at a tariff of RS 3.25 per kilowatt hour. In other words, a few cents to about two cents per kilowatt hour. The project uses bifacial solar modules equipped with single axis trackers so they can actually move to follow the sun. And the company has claimed that the project will deliver power at a capacity utilization factor of at least 50%, making it the most efficient solar or wind power project in India. Obviously, the higher the capacity utilization, the more money you can actually make. For example, most coal plants run at under 70% capacity, and that means they run at a loss. They need to run at more than 70% efficiency to make a profit. That's simple mathematics. And you've probably seen those numbers shown by many economists because that's the average global figure. Clearly, as you can see, solar and wind projects, because they don't require staff, they don't require actually burning coal and having big turbines spinning, they don't need that. They don't need to be able to worry about having to have continuous operations to actually generate profit. Adani's financial troubles are well known, says Clean Technica. That's very true. And Adani Green Energy's shares have collapsed more than 83% from its high of RS3000 in May of 2022, 83%, ouch. I hope you didn't own any, own any Adani shares. There have been unconfirmed reports that the company may slow down capacity addition, thanks to the collapse in their share price and therefore liquidity in the company. And they could focus on repaying outstanding debt to help to calm down growing concerns of lenders, investors, or of pretty much anyone who has anything to do with the company who are all very concerned and rightfully so. Despite its financial problems and challenges, woes and all, everything else, Adani remains the largest and among the most prolific renewable power developers in India, while also one of the biggest in the world. They have a massive pipeline of 20.4 gigawatts with offsets spread across the country. 
basically all that gives them money for nothing. I mean, it's not really money for nothing, but it's kind of like a way of making money without even really needing you know, a whole lot of staff, a whole lot of investment, a whole lot of risk. Basically, when you set up a power plant like this, it more or less runs itself. They're amazing. It's the future of the world. And I love to see this. India needs clean power. India needs power. They need sustainable power. And it's what they're getting. In fact, the amazing thing is that whilst they're getting this, the cost of electricity is actually coming down at the same time. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.